carrying. Most of the times, it is just the fact that God has handpicked you, like he did David, as he sent Samuel to Jesse's house, and all of the boys, one by one, big and strapping, came to Jesse, came to Samuel, and Samuel kept saying, not that one, not that one, not that one. He asked Jesse, do you have another son? Is there not another son? Jesse said, yes, but he is in the back. Oh, Jesus. Most of the times when people don't think much of us, is the time God is thinking big of us. And when he came to Samuel, Samuel probably would have wondered why all of the others were so strapping. And this little one is the one that God chose. But when David come, came to Samuel, he got the revelation from God, this is the one. God asked Samuel to anoint David. So it isn't that David decided to just come to Samuel. It is a difference when God has appointed you and anointed you and have picked you. You will see that God himself, when he anoints you in a position, he anoints it for his glory. He anoints you for his glory. You will be at work and you might be doing something you, you might even think that there isn't much that you are doing. But what it is that you are doing, you are doing it so smooth and so easy. You have been anointed to do that. And what shows up when you are anointed to do that is when someone else has to do it, it is so difficult. It is so much problems. They get themselves so tangled up. But you did it so easily because you would have been anointed to do it. Now, Samuel anointed David. And as we see David going on, David was an anointed man of God. So the issues that the Philistines had with him were not so much David personally, but it was the anointing. Most of the times you walk in your calling, most of the times you walk where God has called you to do, and do what God has called you to do, there will be opposition. And the Philistines had an issue. But when we get to chapter 30, we realize that the Amalekites had gone to Ziglag and they had destroyed everything in Ziglag. They had burned the whole place and they had taken the, ch the children, the sons, the daughters, the women from the men that would have been out battling. Now when the Bible went on to say it was in verse 4. David and the people that were with him lifted up their voices and wept until they had no more power to be. That hurt my heart because when you are in a position and as I was speaking earlier about getting delivered from depression, when you are in a position and you are going through hurt and you are going through pain and you are going through sorrow and there's so much going on around you that you are praying not only overly but you are praying inwardly and as the Bible say until there is no more power there is something different in this particular situation that has you that you are going through and you are going through all of the tears and you are going through all
is a time that you have to encourage yourself in the Lord. Encouraging yourself in the Lord is probably one of the hardest things to do. Because it is easy that when everything is gone and everything is lost, to just whine, complain, and say, oh, why me? Why did this happen to me? Why did my house burn? Why are my children gone? Why are they not listening to me? Why my advice feels like it is falling on deaf ears? Why is it that my ideas aren't being used? What is it, oh Heavenly Father, that it feels like every time that I try to do something, it seems to be falling? What is it? I have to encourage myself in the Lord. It means something very difficult. It means speaking to yourself. It means pulling yourself out of the dundrums. It means saying to yourself, this is not the end. This is not where you are supposed to be. This is not where I have called you to be. This is what just a temporary situation. This is just a temporary setback. This is only a passing through moment for you. All of these tears, all of this heartache, all of these annoying situations, all of these sleepless nights is only for a time. There is another time coming that you will be able to rejoice. Encourage yourself in the Lord. As David encouraged himself in the Lord, I can imagine he had something that he can rely on. He could look back at the time where he would have fought with a bear and he won the battle. He could have looked back on the time when he fought with a lion and he won the battle. He could have on the time where Goliath, three or a hundred feet more than him, stood in front of him to fight him, and he won the battle. David was able to draw from the experience that he had before with God to encourage himself in the Lord. It is your past experiences that will be able to be the bank that you go in and withdraw. Hey, so right now, every bad situation, every bad situation that you went through, everything that you went through, every hurt, every pain, every sadness, every confusion, it is only being stored in that bank.
sure that those 200 men on his back yes. will be 